Hello, this is the Pop Culture Fanatic, and this is Season 2, Episode 1 of Pop Culture Pickups. I've got, this episode will have all the games I've gotten since the end of the first season for Nintendo, PS1, PS2, and PS3. Let's get started. First, the Nintendo game. The one Nintendo game I got was To the Earth. It's a light gun game. It's, uh, I've not played yet because I do not have a light gun, and I don't have an original Nintendo system for the light gun to work with. I'm using a Famiclone system, and it won't work with the light gun. Up for the PS2, I got Beyond the Beyond. It's an RPG, and it's the PS1, not the PS2. And, uh, this is not complete. The case is cracked, but the disc plays good, it's missing the manual, the artwork's good, just need a new case and a manual. Up next is Galarians, another RPG for the PS1. This just needs a new manual because the manual that came with it was missing a cover and it needs a new case and all the discs, all three discs come with it. This was made by, I think, Squaresoft? I'm not sure. No, by Crave Entertainment. Okay, up next for the PS2, I got The Bouncer. This is a great RPG that's also part fighter. Beat him up. Play through the character, play through the story as one of the three main characters who are trying to save their female friend. Up next, Devil May Cry for the PS2. This must have this copy of the game must have come with a package in system because it hasn't got a barcode on the back. It says not part of a set, not for individual return or exchange. Mm. Up next we have Devil May Cry 3. Special Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening Special Edition for the PS2. Up next, we have a greatest hits copy of Naruto Ultimate Ninja for the PS2. Up next, we have Ultim Naruto's Ultimate Ninja 2 for the PS2. On to the PS3 games. I got for the PS1 Bioshock. I already had this game, but it was a greatest hits copy, and I found this at a good price on eBay. It's been a couple months, so I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it's a very good game. Also, Resistance, Fall of Man, the first Resistance game. In this game, you take on the character of a American soldier who got dropped into Britain, during an alien invasion. Up next is one of the two games I have pre-ordered for the PS3 since I got it and that was Bioshock Infinite. Got this played through the uh, industrial revolution thing to get the rewards and then when I got the game I put those uh, yeah, yeah there's one you want to play this. I love this game is so great the storyline the connection to the first game because even though it doesn't look like there's one near the end of the game you'll see one it's a very good one game game not connection up next is the only other game I've pre-ordered for the PS2 I mean PS3 since I got it and that is Deadly Premonition the director's cut for the PS3 I love this. It is a crime scene like investigation of a serial killer and the ending will surprise everyone who's never played it. And next we have Darksiders 2. I have Darksiders 1. Well, I did, so I picked up Darksiders 2 off eBay. Up next is the Game Year Edition Black Label of Dead Island. Played through this love the storyline haven't tried the multiplayer yet if there is any mm -hmm. 
Up next is a game I got from Am not Amazon, but um, Walmart for twenty dollars, and that is Spec Ops the Line, the premium edition of Spec Ops the Line, and it includes the Fubar pack. It is a great game. The storyline has multiple endings depending on how you play out through the story. And my last game I got for the PS3 was Tomb Raider. I love the original Tomb Raiders on the PS1 and PS2. So I got this and started playing it and finished it. And it's just as good, if not better, than the original Tomb Raiders. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.